you're spending more than like three hours a day on content review, you're probably wasting time. Now this is different from a lot of other tests that you've taken and a lot of tests you will take in medical school too, but the truth of it is that the MCAT is not about memorization. The truth is you have to memorize some surface level details, but it's much more important to understand it conceptually rather than just memorizing details that you can just regurgitate. And this is important too, right? Because you don't want to just memorize what the signs and symptoms of a heart attack are. You want to be able to apply that into a unique scenario because the truth is a lot of stuff doesn't present initially the way that you would think it would or patients aren't really able to explain it the way that the textbook says it. Like a patient might come in to your clinic and say to you like, doc, my chest is hurting. Uh, it hurts like right here and maybe that's all they have. Your first thought is going to be, oh my gosh, this is a heart attack. And you're going to rule that out. But you have to ask unique specific questions so that you can narrow down what the complaint actually is. Because the truth is it could be a thousand different things and it's not always a heart attack. And it's the same thought process here. That's why I think the MCAT's actually a pretty good test. 